Hello there folks, Nathan here. Hope you're all well and welcome back to Food and Drink Reviews here on my channel. Where today, or should I say tonight, because uh, it's um, currently night time. To be precise, it is uh, 20 past 2 in the morning of Sunday the 6th of November. The 5th of November going into the 6th of November. Probably wondering why I'm up so early or so late. Well, the answer to that is, uh, well, my sleep pattern is shot again. So, uh, yep, yeah, I'm uh, facing an all-nighter. But what makes it worse is that I'm actually going to Manchester in the morning overnight to visit a friend and to have a couple of pints. Because also today, the 6th of November, it would have been my granddad's birthday. I think he would have been 80 today. May have, may or may not have got that right. Um, we sadly lost him in, in 2020, not due to COVID, um, due to something else. I won't discuss it on this video. This is not the t right time or place to go into it, that. But we sadly lost him in 2020, um, the 30th of September to be exact. Um, so obviously 2020 was the first birthday that he wasn't with us. So this will be his third birthday. You know what I'm saying. It would have been the third, but it will be the third birthday that is not with us. Um, so that's another reason I'm going to Manchester. Um, just to uh, have a night away, have a couple of pints. Obviously, raise a glass to him. But, going back to this video. Well, it's going to be pretty hard to do that, isn't it? With uh, having to pull an all-nighter and then travel. Um, two hours on a train. I think that's going to leave me pretty tired out. But, this is a bid to try and claw back some energy. So... What are we looking at? We are looking at the Swedish Fish brand. Swedish Fish. Now, remember the last review we did of the originals of these, I was very impressed <coughs> with the flavouring of them. But those ones were just one flavour. There was, wasn't a variety unlike these. And these are also miniature. You can see it says Swedish Fish Mini. And these are tropical. Now, it looks like there is different colours and flavours with this one. So, at least we'll be able to do a colour, flavour, you know. Try one of each flavour, see what we think. So, let me just flip the box around for you. I do apologise about the lighting. It's not the best, what with being at night. Usually, when I do my videos during the day, I have my blinds open to let as much natural light in as I can. I have the big light on. Why do we say that big light? Ceiling light. Put big lights on. I think it's a northern thing, I think. Put big lights on. I've got the, the big light on. And I've got my lamp on as well, just to try and get as much lighting as possible. So, boop, boop. Get out of it. <laughs> So that's the back of the box for you. I'll, uh, of course, read it out. Obviously, the size. It's a Swedish Fish Mini Tropical. And again, on that side. And then this side, we have the uh, expiry date, which is the 15th of March, 2023. I believe. I'll just have a quick look now in my magnifying glass. Uh, best before, BB, 16th of March. Yeah, best before the 16th of March, 2023. That's all right, it's only uh, November. Swedish Fish Mini Tropical, artificially flavoured, 110 calories per 12 pieces. Soft and chewy candy. This box contains about 3.5 servings. This is a 3.5 ounce or 99 gram box. 
Nutritional facts. About 3.5 servings per container. Serving size is 12 pieces or 30 grams. Now, per box. Now, these are fat free, which is good. There is 4% sodium per box. Total carbohydrate is 32% or 88 grams. Total sugars, which includes added sugars, is 74 grams. And this is not a source of protein. The ingredients contain sugar, invert sugar, corn syrup, modified cornstarch, contains less than 2% of citric acid, white mineral oil, natural and artificial flavour, titanium dioxide for colour, that's that funny pronunciation again, Caranuba wax, I think it is, Cana, Canauba, Canauba wax or something like that, uh, yellow dye number 6, red dye number 40 and blue dye number 1. Again, these are distributed by Mondell's Global, East Hanover. <clears throat> and now the flavours, let's have a look. So we've got Passion Fruit, Beachy Punch, Tropical Island, and Pina Colada. I like Pina Colada. Yes, I do. <laughs> favorite cocktail that is in about seven weeks when i'm in benny dorm i should be uh, drinking a couple of those in the hotel good old pina colada and the sandos do it lovely as well oh, oh ringing in my ears it's not tinnitus right then without further ado let's get these open and have a look so i'm presuming like the other ones Forgive my hair, it's a right mess. I've got to jump in the BATH before I... Oh, I forgot to turn Wi-Fi off. Never mind. Hopefully people won't... Not many people are messaging me. Uh, now, I can already tell, it doesn't even look like we've got all the flavours. Uh, one, two, three... Hang on, four. Four different? Hang on. No, sorry, I might be wrong. One, two, three... Oh, we have, sorry. What am I on about? So, again, it's in this uh, plus transparent plastic bag we'll get we'll get some out we'll just dump them all out so we can you can see and then what I'll do is I'll just one two three four like that there we go right let me just right so passion fruit i want to try and do it i want to save the pina colada for last pina colada tropical island which i think is this orange one i'm just doing this off camera hang on i'll bring him here white on white is not good for my uh for my eyes <clears throat> It's not good for my visual impairment. Right. <clears throat> right. Enough of looking at me. Let's get this camera pan down. And there you go. Look, yeah, let's move them back a little bit. There you go. You might notice this uh, bedspread. Look. The famous road, as we call this. This is what I used to do. Uh, I used to try and do as many of my model bus videos on this on this duvet because the grey looks like a road. I used to set the bus down there. It looked as if it was driving along a road and I'd read some information out on that particular type of bus. I miss doing them videos, to be honest, but anyhow. Uh, there is a special video coming up soon, though. Well, I'll say soon. Depends how quick the item gets here. But there is a, a special video coming up. It's sort of an unboxing. Not quite, but it's kind of. <sighs> I 
so there you go you can see all the the fishes so we've got purple pink orange and white so to remind you again the flavors are passion fruit beachy punch don't know what that'll be tropical island and pina colada <clears throat> Without further ado, we're not going to beat around the bush too much. Let's just uh, get this get this video done. <clears throat> so we're going to go with the passion fruit one first. Quickly show you it. There we go. Here's a little fishy look. You can see his little his little eye there. Might be the wrong way. Sorry, is it the wrong way? Oh yeah, I think that's the correct way. Hmm. Not the best, are they? These ones. They don't really look like fish. And they look like fish that have already been um, sent to market. Anyway. Oh, I can, I can smell that already. It smells nice. It reminds me of um, Passion Punch Relentless Energy Drink, which I think I've done a review of, rather on this channel or on my old channel. Oh, that's nice. Let's see if it tastes like it. Mmm. Kind of reminds me of Starburst as well, you know, like a tropical Starburst. Hmm, very interesting. Now, as with um, the sour smog balls that we looked at um, a few days ago, I have got, well, I had some Pepsi for that video. I've got some Fanta this time. So I can just um, rinse my palate. And just rinse my palate. Oh dear. Mm, very good. Yeah, I quite enjoyed that one. Next flavour then is uh, Beachy Punch. Can't really get a smell from this one. Let's try it. I've done it again about the eating sounds. I'm sorry. Didn't really get anything from that. Very strange. Let's try this tropical island. Getting anything? Oh, hang on. Hmm, is that mango? I don't think it's pineapple. Could be mango. Let me just try a couple of these pink ones together. See if I can get a flavour. I'll give them a fair test. I'm getting something, but it's very subtle. A bit like raspberry. It 
taste like drumsticks. The pink ones actually taste like drumsticks. I don't mean real drumsticks, you know. I don't go around music stores eating and buying drumsticks and sitting here gnawing away at them. I mean drumstick as the candy, you know, like the bar or the lollipops or the squashies, you know. Very interesting. Okay, then the last flavour, pina colada. I'm going to eat the one on its own to see if I can get anything from it. And if not, we'll eat a couple together and see. Come on, don't let me down. Mm. So it tastes the creaminess. Oh. It was there. Subtle, but it was there. Let's try another couple. Mmm, there it is. Mm -hmm. Like the lemon and the coconut. I think it's lemon. It's that creamy flavour to it. That's amazing, that is. I'll tell you what, just to give these ones a fair test as well, these passion fruit ones, we'll finish with two of these as well. Mm. I think that these are my favourite, the passion fruit. Passion fruit's definitely my favourite flavour. Uh, second fla second favourite would be the um, pina colada. And then my third would be the tropical island, because it does remind me of rather pineapple or mango. Or it could be orange and mango, you never know. Well, they were very good. Oh, very good. It was not. It's nice that uh, it's nice to have a, a selection where there is a variety rather than just the one flavour, as with the original brand. <clears throat> yes, very good. I'm glad that I was able to uh, glad that I was able to spot these, and I will of course keep my eyes peeled in any sweet shops. Um to see if there's any more or any more of this Swedish fish brand. Maybe maybe they do like other other varieties. I'll have to keep my eyes peeled. Or you lovely people in the comments could let me know, especially if there's anyone watching who lives in the US. Or you may have them in your country. Uh, let me know in the comments. So I think I could end this review by saying that uh, they're very nice. They've got very nice flavour. They're not too overpowering. Uh, with these being mini ones as well, um, they're a decent size to eat. The the other ones that we looked at, the bigger ones, um, especially for uh, if you were giving them to a child, that could be quite... The other ones were a little bit big like to, to put the whole thing in your mouth and you're there trying to work through it. It's a bit much, but these are these are better. They're a lot smaller. They're not too sweet either. They're, you know, they've got a sweetness to them, but it's it's not too sweet, uh, which also makes it nice. <clears throat> Gives it a nice. If you want to uh, indulge your sweet tooth but not feel too guilty about it, this is the kind of thing to do that with. Anyway, I've rambled on for long enough. I think it's time to uh, wrap up this video. So, 
thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to uh, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Um, let me know if you've had these before, what you, th what you thought of them. Let me know if there's other varieties, and I'll keep my eyes peeled. Get suggestions coming in of what you'd like to see me review next. I will try and source the product if I can. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It is, um, it is greatly appreciated. And to the 306 people, 306 or 309, something like that, to those subscribers, I've just got to keep saying thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated. Um, it certainly inspires me to try and keep the channel going with as much content as possible. And as much varied content as possible as well, so it doesn't get too boring. Also, don't forget to share the video. Uh, get, some, get me some more likes, comments, subscribers. And until the next video, whatever, or indeed whenever that may be, I might try and make a video of something in Manchester. Rather, you know, when I go out, when I go out on the evening or something, or I don't know. I'll try. I'll try and do a video in Manchester. But uh, whatever, whatever, or whenever the next video may be, it just remains for me to say: take care, stay safe, stay strong. And as Grandad Murray used to say, stay happy. And from here in the UK, currently coming up to quarter to three, I will bid you good morning. <laughs>